Hello, welcome to the 2JZ channel. We'll be doing an in-depth look of the interior, exterior, and driving of the second generation Lexus GS300, the 2GS. This car is equipped with a 3.0 liter inline 6 2JZ engine. This is the exterior of the second generation GS300. Very elegant vehicle and beautiful mystic gold metallic paint. It really pops with the sun. It has a dual headlamp and factory yellow fog lights. Very sleek. It has a drag coefficient of 0.29. Very high, very aerodynamic and it has very good high speed stability. You get up to 145, 150 miles per hour. It's very comfortable. I like these uh, old school styling of these older Lexuses. It's very timeless and unique. The wheels are factory 16 inch wheels, 225, 55, 16s. Let's take a look at the side profile. Very nice. A long wheelbase, big body sedan. I do like these. Uh, the taper rear window, it looks really nice and sporty. You also have a dual exhaust tips as well. And like a little chin spoiler for the rear end. And I do like these uh, dual um, tail lamps, it's very unique design. Overall it's a very nice looking vehicle, very modern and it aged very well. Very unique. This is the lovely 2JZ engine. It's a 3.0 liter and like 6. It's an iron block with aluminum heads, variable intake manifolds, factory cold air intake, which uh, feeds air from the front grill. Very easy to work on. Lots of space, O2 sensor, alternator water pump, oil filter. very good engine it it does require a premium fuel 91 or up uh, I average uh, 25 miles per gallon with a full tank very smooth engine very balanced in my six configuration uh, you take care of it, oil change, spot plugs, timing belt, seals, it's going to last you forever. I guarantee you 500k plus miles. The 2JZ GE. It's a very torquey engine as well. Good lowering torque with the VVTi. So there's the driving portion of the video of the Lexus GS300. It's a very smooth vehicle, very uh, relaxing, isolated. Um, the suspension is well composed with bumps and potholes. Um, the handling is very good. It has a four wheel independent double wishbone suspension. So you have full um, uh, customization with your caster, camber, and all that goodies. The GS200 has a 3.0 liter 2JZ and i6 engine. It's pretty uh, torquey with the low end with the VVTi. Um, I'm going to do a little pull here in a bit. See how it goes off the line. We had the common uh, issues with uh, GS200s or GS in general is uh, uh, ball joints, uh, rear main seals, uh, valve cover gaskets, just the you know, normal wear and tear items of any vehicles uh, the door lock actuators for the rear but it's a very uh, nice driving car overall 
Very smooth power band. No lag. The throttle pedal response is very good. It's not the slowest, but it's not the fastest. It's it has a good amount of power for just a regular stock daily street car. It rides like a cloud. Five speed transmission. We're gonna do interior first, so you have a really nice sporty looking leather wrap steering wheel with perforations. It looks very sporty. You have um, the east shift, manual mode, downshift is up front. At the back is to upshift. You have these really cool uh, sporty uh, three pod clusters with illuminated lights. I do love the green lighting, very uh, 90s, 80s throwback. You have the control of the dim for your gauge. You have real one up wood trim. Very soft leather cushion on the side panels. And you also have front and rear full automatic windows. You have the parking brake and the trunk and gas release. And you also have a the AC vac in the bottom for your knee as well, which is pretty cool. Coming on the center, you have your hazards, your um, clock, your AC vax, and a very easy layout and, and easy to reach uh, climate control. No gimmicks. You have your radio control as well and the cassette player. In the center console, you have um, your real wood, not wood trim interior pieces. Ashtray, you have your gated. 5 speed shifter, uh, decent sized cup holders, and you have power mode and snow mode, front heated seats, and your traction control. You have a very nice um, glove box as well, and a built in 6 disc, six, uh, disc uh, CD changer as well, and a map light. You have front side, you have front airbags, and also side curtain airbags as well and also the side seat curtains the ladder up front is really nice you have double stitch very nice and soft comfortable ladder it aged pretty well you also have a really nice soft armrest high quality double stitch the back has lots of room for your passengers very nice cargo area Decent leg room. You have soft touch felt hairlining. And you also have a very large sunroof as well. And you have your uh, automatic dimming rear view mirror and also a compass. And you also have a really nice um, soft leather stitching for the door handle as well. This is a very well built car made in Japan. Really nice uh, material and you can just feel 
the quality that Toyota put into the Lexus GS300. Here's the rear trunk cargo space. It's very wide and also deep as well. It's about 41 cubic. And you also have extra cargo space underneath. And also you have a, uh, your tools and jack. And also a full spare size uh, tires and rail. And other compartment. Here's the rear cargo area. Lots of leg room. You have a double stitch, leather, mat pockets. And you also have rear AC vents. And the pillar here is all is also a soft touch leather with a uh, felt uh, sound dampening around the edges. Very nice soft leather seats. Center armrest with cup holders. Cigarette ashtray, full auto, wear uh, windows, soft leather cushion, and real one word trim. And you also have a uh, rear leather stitch door handles as well and a map light 